Elite Gaming. What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ, and I'm back with a new video, and oh so soon. I just made a video for my recommendations for a budget $800 gaming computer minus Windows or a $1,000 full system setup. If you're interested in checking out that video, I'll put a card right here. Go watch the video, let me know what you would do with an $800 budget. Other cool news, my website's coming along, and I should have it up soon. It's looking pretty good. And also you guys can join our Discord, the link will be in the first comment below, I'll pin it right there, and be sure to join the notification squad so you don't miss any cool videos at least at that point you'll see when i upload a video and you can decide to watch it or not but in this video i want to show you guys how to add a new hard drive to your system not just a hard drive but to start over with a new boot drive and to keep your old hard drive so our goal for this video is we're going to have to get our windows cd key we're going to have to make a windows iso we're going to put windows on our new drive with our licensed cd key and we're going to set our old drive up as a secondary hard drive what you're going to need to do this is an 8 gigabyte flash drive your new drive and of course the cables like a SATA cable now if you wanted to and you have an m.2 slot you could do it just the same but in theory today we're going to use just the standard ssd and this came about from a friend of mine wcpo2 gaming who used to do some gaming videos with me back in the early days of the channel and he asked me how to do it and i said why not i'll make a tutorial for you so we're going to go step by step so let's get into it. All right, step one, we're gonna need to make a Windows ISO. So basically how you do this, go to Google and type in Windows 10 ISO. The first link that should pop up will be a Microsoft link. You wanna go down to the download tool now, download that tool, you open it up and it's gonna come into this screen. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna accept and it's gonna allow you to either upgrade the current PC or make the ISO. What you're gonna to wanna to do is make the ISO. It might take a second. Go down to Crate Installation Media USB. So USB flash drive, click the specific flash flash drive and hit next. Now this is going to take a while. It's going to build all the files and make an actual bootable flash drive. When it's all done, you just take close. We'll let that run. And this will give us the ability to boot off of Windows and get all our essential files. The next step is we're going to go to magicjellybean.com. Just type it in Google. It'll link you to the key finder page and it'll look something like this. What you're going to want to do is download the free version. You don't need the paid version. We're just using it once. We're just grabbing our Windows key and that's the end of it. After you download the free version, you just open it up and it'll look something like this and it'll have your key right there now the thing is i don't recommend writing it down what i think you should do is take a picture of your screen and have it in your phone because writing it down there's a very good chance of human error and you definitely don't want to be typing this in later and find out that you can no longer grab the information and you lost the key altogether so there's the key now you have that now we just wait for our usb iso file to finish and once it's done, turn off your PC. And what I recommend doing is unplugging your other hard drive as you plug in your SSD. I think that's the best way to go because then you're not gonna really mess up and have to pick between drives. If you make the PC think that it only has one hard drive, your BIOS or UFEI will just pick up that one drive and automatically try to install Windows to it. I suggest just pulling the SATA right out of the other drive, like the motherboard even, so it just doesn't get the information that it's even there. And of course, it goes without saying that you might wanna back up your files. It's a little bit harder later as it's a second drive it's better just to format the drive so i say back them up before you do this all right so once you have your usb installed and you have your ssd installed and then you reboot your system one of two things is going to happen either one it's going to go right to a windows screen that kind of looks like this or number two it's going to tell you that there's a boot error now first if there's a boot error let me just go through this real quick just how to fix it you want to turn your system back off you want to reboot it and you want to hit either f2 or delete usually it's delete it depends on your system with the bio is going to be and you're just going to keep spamming that button until you come up to your bios screen this is pretty simple stuff it's not that big of a deal you just go over to the boot menu one of the menus will say boot you change the first drive number one in the boot order to the flash drive that's it that's all you have to do then you save and exit at the exit area which i believe the hotkey is f10 i'm not quite sure but i think it was f10 you save and exit let it reboot and then it will come to this screen simple stuff should give you no problem at all now once you're to this point you just hit next it's going to ask for your windows cd key now you plug in it. Now if you don't have one you can just say you don't have one and then pick the version of Windows that you want and it'll just give you the watermark which kind of sucks because it overlays everything or if for some reason you don't feel like typing it in right now you just put it in right there. Then I always pick go to custom just to make sure that you don't have another drive somewhere or that your partitions not broke out into multiple different partitions, which could be bad. And we can consolidate it right here. And then it's gonna give you a list of drives. Now see, since we only have one drive hooked up, it should only have one. And you just click on that drive and you hit next. And then it'll start installing Windows. Simple as that. The next parts are pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna go through step by step by step 
of installing it, just start asking you some questions like what kind of keyboard layouts you need, simple things like that. After that's completed, you'll come to a home screen. You'll give your computer a name. You don't necessarily have to make an online account. You don't have to give it a password. You could just give it a name. And then what I always recommend doing is hit your Windows button. As soon as you get the desktop, make sure you have an internet connection and hit check for updates. Go into the update screen, hit install now and let it do all of its updates. There's going to be quite a bit and you just want to keep your computer up to date for security reasons and for driver purposes. After that, the next thing is going to be your video drivers, your antivirus, and any essential programs that you feel like you need. So we have all that installed. Now we're going to look into getting our second hard drive. Now I have done a video already explaining the benefits of an SSD and how to install a second hard drive. So we'll revisit that later. You can check it out now if you're on the fence whether or not you want to add in an SSD. But here we are, time to add in a second hard drive. I'll just clip from that video that I talked about previously and I'll show you how to install it. First thing is you want to just type the window button and type in disk partition. That's going to bring up your disk manager. Now if you have a drive installed but it has not recognized it yet, it'll come up with this message. Initialize disk. You hit OK. Go to click new simple volume on the disk that's not being used. It'll say unallocated. Tell it how much you want to use which this is like if you want to split the drive into two parts or even multiple parts however many you want usually you're just going to leave it as one big drive assign it a path letter which i like to use my mass storage as s for storage all the default settings are fine it's going to make it a new volume you can actually change that label to whatever you want it to say it could be simple mics shit it really doesn't matter and then boom you'll have it as a drive in this particular computer where i took these pictures it had a 256 gigabyte ssd with a two terabyte hdd so that's simple enough that's how you add drive. All right, we're all done. So you're all set up. Everything should be working properly. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to sort it out for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, hit the notification button, subscribe. If you want, join the Discord. We can talk there. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. My name is Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks for watching, guys.